The NACA airfoils are airfoil shapes for aircraft wings developed by the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA. The shape of the NACA airfoils is described using a series of digits following the word NACA. The parameters in the numerical code can be entered into equations to precisely generate the cross-section of the airfoil and calculate its properties. Equation for a symmetrical four-digit NACA airfoil is shown here. This formula is for the shape of a NACA 00XX foil, in which XX is replaced by the percentage of thickness to cord. X is the position along the cord from 0 to 1. Y underscore T is the half thickness at a given value of X. T is the maximum thickness as a fraction of the cord. So T gives the last two digits in the NACA four-digit denomination divided by 100. Note that in this equation, at X equals 1 or at the trailing edge of the airfoil, the thickness is not quite zero. If a zero thickness trailing edge is required, for example for computational work, one of the coefficients should be modified such that they sum to zero at x equals one. Modifying the last coefficient to 0 0.1036 will result in the smallest change to the overall shape of the airfoil. In this video, we will design an airfoil in FreeCAD software using Python code. Let's understand the coding. We start with simplest airfoil 0015. To open a Python console window, click on View, go to Panels, and click on Python console. A new window of Python console will be displayed at the right bottom side. You can see all activities here. Now we will select a part design workbench from the workbench selector. If you want to open this workbench with Python code, please enter this line to open it. Create new document by clicking on this button. Let's rename this documents to NACA Airfoil. You can see the command line here to change the document name. First we will understand the background. Let's think that how many points are needed if you want to draw this curve by joining lines. The answer is, it can be 2 point to infinite points based on complexity of the curve. This curve is function of x therefore, to get the y value at specific x coordinate, we just need to enter the value of x in the curve function. Other way, draw horizontal line in the intersection of vertical line from x coordinate and curve. This will give us the y coordinate, graphically. You can see here the curve is made with 10 points. You can make curve with equal number of x length divisions or you can increase number of divisions at more complex curve region. So we will do the reverse process. In first step we will fix the position of points. And then we will use spline or polyline command to join all these points. This will give us the shape of the airfoil in which we are interested. Here you can see the yt is the function of x and t. For the NACA 0015, value of t will be 0 0.15. So the yt is only dependent on x now. We will compare the results with different number of chord length divisions. Select the part design workbench from the drop down menu. Click on this button to create new document. Insert body and in body create new sketch. Select XY plane and click OK. Here you can see that the starting of X is from 0. Formula for Y value is this. Chord length is from 0 to 1. Location of the design points is under the unnamed document. In the sketch object. And in the sketch we need to define a point. First we will call the math functions with import math command line. Define starting coordinate of x with 0. We will use while loop to get point coordinates with fixed interval of x. Up to value of 1. Select document. Select sketch object.
Define point. We will use value of y coordinate as same as we take for x to check the code is working well or not. We need to update the document after each point. We will use recompute command for that. We will take each division length as 0.1. After success, we will change the definition of Y here. You can see that total 11 points are generated with an interval of 0.1 from 0 to 1. Now let's delete these all points. Please follow the steps. Pointeds are from 0 to 10. We will start from 0 so after every iteration, point ID will be changed. Therefore, point 1 will get new ID as point 0 after first iteration and so on. Do not forget to recompute the document after each iteration. You can see that all points are deleted. Let's copy all command lines. We will use notepad to change the Y function. Replace the value of Y coordinate with this. Copy the command lines and paste into Python console. You can see that airfoil shape is created with an interval of 0.01. Now we will divide chord length with two parts. 0 to 30% and from 30% to 100% with 100 divisions in each part. Modify the while loop statements and intervals. Let's create the first part.
Copy and paste command lines of second part. This is how you can divide the full chord length into two parts and you can refine the interested region for CFD analysis. In the last step, we will make 3D model of airfoil. We will reduce the interval for this. Copy and paste the code lines in Python console. Select spline tool to connect all points. Select line to close the curve. Close the sketch. Extrude the sketch. Do not forget to scale the model for analysis. We have used mm unit of length. Mirror the body with respect to XZ plane. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel.